All right, what's up everybody? Steve here. And today we're gonna do an unboxing and a little bit of a review on the Pivot Head uh, glasses. So here they are, Pivot Head. And I also got the uh, transition lenses for them as well. So I'm gonna put those in and see how those work as well. Um, so uh, let's jump right into it. Excited, kind of excited about getting this underway. Um, I'm gonna use these for, uh, for vlogging on my travels. Um, I thought this might be helpful when I do my, um, a lot of times when I'm getting on the plane, I got my backpack, I got something in my hand, I got my suitcase, I got everything going on, and it's hard to hold a camera at the same time as, um, as doing everything else. So I thought if I could use these, I could put them on and just forget about them and kind of uh, record as I want, and, and uh, hopefully it'll help out getting a little bit better content. So uh, let's get underway. All right, so here you can see <clears throat> I got the uh, box and the uh, extra lenses. So let's take a peek what we got going on. Pretty heavy duty box. Uh, this came in a cardboard box. I ordered right from the company. It came in a cardboard box filled with uh, paper and stuff like that that were all uh, scrunched up to take up the space. So that's what it looks like. Flaps, there's the camera can see there's the glasses we got a case in here a nice snap case uh, looks like there's a cleaning cloth in here Right there, and looks like there is a cord. Let's see what we got here. All right, so it's a USB plug right there, and then, uh, actually it has a you know, split cord on it. And okay, we have an L and an R. I don't know if you can see that or not. L or R. And one looks like a lightning bolt, which means it's probably for charging. And one has a like a little download symbol, so that must be for downloading. Uh, you must have to plug it into uh, one or the other back of the uh, glasses there. So, so that's that. Um, that's all that's in the case. Pretty nice case. Uh, very soft inside. Uh, I'm not sure if it's leather, but it might be imitation leather. But um, pretty nice uh, looking case. In here. Quick start guide looks like. And looks like we got some extra lenses, clear lenses. This must be fuel, uh, or the not the fuel, but the um, the uh, charger part. It's a USB plug here with a micro SD in the back. Comes with the screwdriver. Must be for taking in and out the lenses and it's got the lenses itself. I'm not going to take those out because I'm actually going to replace them with the transition lenses that I bought. So we'll leave those right in there. Also there's an 8 gig uh, SD, uh, micro SD card that's behind one of the lenses there. I'm going to leave that in there as well because I got a 32 gig um, uh, micro SD, so I'm gonna open that up. We'll put that one in instead. Yeah, this, as far as I read, this can take up to a uh, 32 gig uh, S micro SD card, so we'll we'll use that instead. Okay, so there's our 32 gig micro SD. Let's take these bad boys out and take a look. All right, just feeling them. They're actually very light. I didn't think they'd be this light. Um, they feel good. They feel like they're solid. Very smooth functioning. Um, we got some uh, some little directions on it. Power. Uh, the power button is right there on the inside of the glasses. Um, this is where you swipe and tap for photo for video. You swipe and for photos you tap. 
and it looks like you got a download uh, port behind here. It says download right there. And then this is where you charge it. Charging here, same thing. Uh, you must have to pull those little rubber pieces off there. And that's where you charge it and download stuff there. Um, so overall right now, feeling uh, pretty good about them. Um, this is what they look like folded up. Uh, like I said, very smooth operating. And... Give them a try on once just to see what they look like here. Alright, so we'll give them a shot. How do I look? Um, they're quite comfortable actually. Um, the nose piece fits really well actually. I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how well these fit. Um, they, they're tight. They don't pinch. Uh, they don't feel pinched. But they're tight and uh, they don't move. Um, actually I'm very very happy with the way they, they, these look and feel. Uh, they're very light. I don't really feel them too much on my face. They cover a good area. Um, so uh so that's good uh actually I'm, I'm 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 pretty impressed with the way they fit uh, i have a smaller head so maybe i don't know some people might be they do have a little bit of give uh for people with a little bit bigger heads i guess i i have a pretty small head so this these fit um i was actually kind of worried about them fitting and if i lean forward falling off um but really these these are these are really nice um I, I feel good wearing them, and, I, and I, I'm looking at myself in the video camera right now, and I and I feel uh, they feel good. Um, you can kind of see my screens in there, uh, but but yeah, they feel pretty good. I don't know. You can see the camera right here. I don't know how noticeable is it. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think people would really pay that much attention to it, which is kind of the point. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge these up and. Uh, Maybe give them a little bit of a trial, and I'll get back to you with with the uh, results, and just see how, I, how how happy I am with them. And uh, we'll get back to with um, we'll get back with another video on that. So that's kind of the pivot head glasses. I'm also going to change out the lenses too. We'll see how um, how that goes, and we'll do that along with this video here. So, um, all right. So that's the unboxing of the pivot head glasses. I'm going to read the directions, kind of get into it a little bit, and we'll go from there. All right, here's the box that the lenses came in right here. Here's the um, the lenses themselves. They're kind of wrapped in a uh, kind of a cloth uh, to keep them protected. So I'm going to just pull one out here just to show you guys what they look like. So that's what the lenses look like. Uh, these are the transition lenses, so they should go from light to dark in the sun. And, uh, and this will be a, a little bit nicer um, so you're not switching... Uh, so I can keep them on all the time, whether I'm inside or outside, uh, I can keep them on, and uh, hopefully they work. So we'll uh, we'll get those a review as well as we're working on them here. So, all right, I have one lens changed out right now. Um, this is the original lens that came with the uh, glasses. I have one, this one changed out. This is the transition lens. Um, and you can see it's a little bit dark right now because I have the the light from the window coming in. But uh, so that's what it looks like with the uh, thinner frame to it. Here's uh, the big black uh, flame uh, frame from the uh, like a sunglass type frame. This is the smaller frame, more for like uh, I guess like an eyeglass type thing. So uh, so I just want to show you that real quick. Um, that literally took me probably five minutes, but um, that one should go quicker just because it's I was just trying to trying to uh, find my way around how to do that, but. Um, not, it's not a big deal. There's a screw here and a screw inside there. And you just take both out, pop it out, put the other one in. Not a big deal. Okay, so I got the glasses on the charger right now. And we're um, just kind of messing around with the other stuff that's in the box here. And the other thing is, it comes with this little USB plug. And it's got a micro SD in the back. And this is a fuel uh, charger. Uh, must be like an expanded battery or something like that. That goes on the back of the glasses. It plugs into that charger port. Um, and this is the charger for this. So this fits in like so. And then you plug that into the your uh, charger and you can charge this up, which is kind of cool. Extra battery. All right, so I got the uh, the lenses off. 
And like I said, they're charging right now. I put the uh, micro SD card in, which is in the, one of the temples. If you fold the uh, the side piece back, uh, the, the slot for the micro SD card is inside that uh, the temple part. So you just slide it in there, push it in until it clicks, and you're good to go. So uh, we're just waiting for the charge, and then we'll uh, take them out and uh, see how they work. Okay, so here they are with the um, the clear lenses, or the, actually the transition lenses in. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm not quite uh, as impressed with these uh, smaller pieces as I was as they were as like a sunglasses. Uh, but we'll go with it and just you know kind of try them out. Um, I might just uh, pull a Casey Nice at and wear the sunglasses all the time, but uh, that's um, we'll figure that out later. So that's what they look like with the just the clear lenses in and the smaller rim on the bottom. Uh, there is an app for these as well, so I'm, I downloaded that. I just unplugged it from the charger. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of mess around with that a little bit, and then um, we'll take them outside and um, just kind of see how they work. Okay, so here we are walking around the uh, yard. With the glasses. Now this is in 720, 60 frames per second. I'm going to switch okay I just switched to 1080 with 30 frames per second I'm going to kind of do the same walk just going back Doing a quick a couple quick head movements just to see how it turns out. And we'll go back in and review the footage. Alright guys, Steve back at you here. Um, this is just a follow-up video for the the pivot head glasses. Um, I've been using them for a few weeks. Overall, I give them a thumbs up. Excellent product. Uh, they work well for what I want uh, done, which is just, is, uh, just vlogging um, and uh, keeping my hands free. So, very good job. Now, I'm just going to give you a couple things that I don't like about them. The first thing is the battery life. Battery life is really leaves a lot to be desired. Um, they say it's like 25 minutes with just the glasses. Uh, I'm lucky if I get like 15 minutes uh, of recording time with the glasses. Um, you can hook up the fuel pod, which is bulky and uncomfortable. Um, is this thing right here. I have the charger on there right now, but it's this part right here. That's the fuel pod. Uh, that might add like an extra 45 minutes, so you, you might get like about an hour of total recording time with the battery in the glasses and the battery in the fuel pod. The problem with it is that you have to keep the glasses on if you want to just quickly swipe and record. Uh, otherwise you have to turn them on and then swipe, which takes extra time. If you keep them on, the battery goes super quick. If you turn them off and on, you can last it. Make it, it can make it last longer. So, those couple of things, and then also one other thing is with the design of them. Uh, when you put these on, I can't put them on right now. I got my glasses on, but when you put these on, the power button is inside. I don't know if you can see that or not, the power button is right there. Okay, 
when you have these on, I'll just kind of throw them on over, but I'll show you what I mean. So when you have them on, in order to power them on, you have to reach underneath here and hit the power button, which is kind of a pain to get up underneath there and hit that button. Much smarter design would have been just put it right on the bottom right here. So then when you're sitting like this, you just boom, hit the button, and you're done. Rather than trying to stick your finger up in your eye socket area here, it's just a pain uh, to get it off and on, especially when I'm recording uh, with vlogs and stuff like that. I'm constantly hitting that button to turn them off because I'm saving the battery power in them. Um, I do have a solution. I bought one of these babies. I bought one of these babies. Uh, what I'd like to do eventually, uh, this is a, I don't know, um, I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks at Best Buy. But it's a uh, extended life battery basically, you charge it up. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually plug this right into the glasses as I'm using them. So this could go in my back pocket, uh, maybe a camera case, uh, I'm trying to find a camera case that will fit this size thing, but uh, so far I have not found one. Uh, I'm sure they're out there. I just got to look for them. But I would like to use this and put it in a camera case like on my side or right on my back, uh, on my belt or, or whatever, or stick it in my back pocket. You can run the USB uh, cord right out of here and I can run it right up my back, plug it right into the glasses and um, with a, uh, a four foot cord I would have free range of my head and I wouldn't have to worry about any type of power uh, shortage at all. This would last probably all day, um, having them on all day. Uh, so that was my solution for the battery. The only other thing that I'd like to say about them, like I said, great product. If you uh, are looking for them, grab them. They're great. Uh, I said about 300 bucks for, and I think the lenses that I got the transition lenses. Transition lenses are like an extra 30 or 40 bucks. So anyway, uh, the only other thing that I don't like about them is that this area, and I'm not sure how you can solve this, but this area here gets super hot uh, when you keep them on all the time. So, which is what I like to do. Uh, so this area here actually gets very hot. Um, so when you have them on, it actually sits right against your face right here. And it literally is uncomfortable. I have to shut them off sometimes. So uh, those few things are the drawbacks to them that I've found. Uh, other than that, like I said, great product. Um, I hope uh, they continue to improve. I would definitely uh, buy another set. Um, when they come out, maybe they fix those couple issues that I have uh, that I've pointed out. But um, all in all, thumbs up, great product. And uh, Steve, signing off. If you guys like this video, if this helps you at all, uh, please click that thumbs up button, give me a like, and uh, if you, uh, I'm going to be doing some videos uh, with the glasses. Um, I'll try to do a lot of unboxing stuff uh, when I get stuff for my travels. Um, so if you like that, hit subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, take care. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so have a good Thanksgiving guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later.